Thank you. Uh, Mr. Hurst, thank you for, uh, for being here today. Uh, as you well know, many individuals do not have the luxury of employer-sponsored health coverage uh, on the sole basis that they are, in fact, uh, their own boss. Uh, I've heard from many of my constituents who are faced with this problem, especially farmers. Uh, luckily, they were afforded the opportunity to receive coverage through the Pennsylvania Farm Bureau. At one point in time, the Pennsylvania Farm Bureau provided coverage to almost half of the farmers that belong to the organization through an association health plan. This arrangement worked very well for the Farm Bureau's hardworking members. Uh, when they had a question concerning their coverage, they were able to simply call the Pennsylvania Farm Bureau, a welcome alternative to calling a 1-800 number that likely would have immediately put them on hold. However, perhaps the best part of this arrangement was the cost for both the Farm Bureau and its membership. Since the rates were set by experience, the prices were affordable. The farmers in my district will tell you that they do not go to the doctor uh, for every cut or every scrape that they may have, and this characteristic resulted in relatively low coverage costs. Of course, when they needed care, it was available to them, and the Farm Bureau prides itself on the benefits that they were able to administer. However, all of this changed thanks to Obamacare. Under Obamacare, arrangements like the one used by the Pennsylvania Farm Bureau were no longer viable. Costs for these farmers went up because the rates were no longer based on the Farm Bureau's coverage pool alone, but rather on a larger community rating based on individuals outside of the organization. This is because the Pennsylvania Farm Bureau could no longer offer their association health plans to their members. In short, President Obama's failed health care law decreased flexibility for groups like the Pennsylvania Farm Bureau, and in turn, hardworking farmers and their families. Now, I'm a strong believer and supporter of association health plans and the idea that small businesses should be able to pull together to offer their employees affordable health coverage. I agree with you that we must give organizations and small businesses this option. However, I think that we must continue to explore innovative options that lower the cost of health care even further. Based on your experience in Massachusetts, what type of benefits and cost savings do you think groups like the Pennsylvania Farm Bureau and their members would experience if they were allowed to pull with groups across state lines to deliver health coverage? Thank you, Congressman. And, and I will say Farm bureaus across the country had very viable programs, including in Massachusetts, and, and serving a very important part of the economy. And what they were, what we've done is we've essentially asked them to unfairly cross-subsidize others, where we don't do the same thing for big business or big government, who are ERISA exempt. So that's unfair. It's discriminatory under the under the law and under the marketplace. But what what the Pennsylvania Farm Bureau and other small business associations can do is that they can get proactive with their employees, their families, and, and make sure that they understand the importance of wellness, for instance. You know, if, if you get well and, and prevent certain uh, accidents and certain diseases, you know, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna avoid claims. If you avoid claims, your premium should come down. There's a reason why large employers self-insure, right? Uh, and, and there's a reason why they do wellness programs, because if, if people get healthier, your, your premiums are going to drop. It's the same thing if you educate your employee base that you need to go to XYZ provider rather than a, ABC, who is a higher cost and no better in, in the area of quality. We need more education of these small business employees as well about the right setting for the right care. And that's what these plans can do. Thank you. Thank you, Madam 